everyone hopefully you can see me okay the lighting is so weird today it's like sunny and dreary so i've got blind spots going on but then i also had to turn on my lights in the room weird anyway hi you guys today i'm sitting down to talk to you about cloth diapers so i am due at any time really i'm due in three weeks um a little less than that um, but we are on baby watch officially with our third baby and this will be our third cloth diaper baby Now I have gotten questions in the past. I haven't done a cloth diaper video since my son was a baby It's been many 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 years and I have been getting slowly some questions about cloth, about cloth diapers um, And some interest and so I figured now before I get really busy with a new baby before you start seeing me use them and everything like that, I would sit down and give you a very kind of beginner friendly, um, informative video about cloth diapers, the ones we use, why we choose them, um, how I make it easier. Cause you guys know I'm all about like not overcomplicating my life. I thought this was a good time to sit down with you and share our cloth diapers. And I'm here in my little nursery nook because here are my cloth diapers. <laughs> this is where I've got them kept. And I'm gonna be chatting with you about different kinds of cloth diapers, the ones we chose, just all sorts of stuff. So if you're new to this or you're interested or you feel really intimidated, then hopefully this video has something for you. Okay, so as you see behind me, this is my cloth diaper stash right here in these two cubbies. This is actually my third time with these specific cloth diapers. I have not bought any new cloth diapers since my first baby. So these diapers are 12 years old <laughs> and they have lasted me through three, well, they will have lasted me through three children fully diapering both or all three of them. They are amazing. The colors are great still. They're holding up perfectly. I've never had to change an elastic or anything in them. I feel like I am a very good ambassador for the cloth diaper life because I've used the same set through so many years and they're still going strong. Now, does that mean I won't buy any more? No, because is cloth diapering kind of an addiction or it can be? Absolutely, <laughs> I will probably buy a few more, um, but that's for a later time. Basically, if you're totally new to cloth diapers, it is really important to know that cloth diapering, you know, they're not your grandma's cloth diapers anymore. It's not gross. It's not inconvenient. There are so many options to choose from now. And it's not this big pins and contraptions and all of this extra work that you would maybe think it is going into cloth diapering. Like cloth diapers have come a long way and there is a reason so many busy moms use them because they've really modernized, thank goodness. So because I'm sure me saying that I've used these cloth diapers for 12 years, I'm going to get some questions on what kind of cloth diapers I use. And here's the downside. These cloth diapers are no longer a really easy, accessible brand to get. Again, I bought this, these 12 years ago and the brand didn't, like the, I think they're still available, but I don't think the company is like popping out diapers like they used to be or like some of the other brands. So I will try my best to find a link for you down below. Um, but honestly, at this point, I don't know if these are still available. I certainly don't know if they're the best value anymore, but back in the day, this is what I chose. Um, let me show you one. Oh, cute little cloth diaper. These are mine. I choose Velcro. I like Velcro. Um, it's just what I prefer. And again, I've done industrial strength Velcro with these diapers and they have lasted me through the years. They still work perfectly. And I'm gonna to talk to you guys about how cloth diapers work in a second and the type I have. And the, so that way, even though you might not be able to get my brand, you will still be able to, if this type of cloth diaper interests you, you'll know what that is called. Um, so how these work really quickly, I'll just show you, is here's the insert and here's the shell of the cloth diaper. Clip that in there. This part folds underneath. And then that diaper goes on. And I only need these because they are, um, they have a little elastic inside of there that I can stretch or shrink. And so these will actually grow with my baby for their entire diapering journey from new year or newborn to about, you know, two, three years old, whenever you would be done cloth diapering or diapering in general. But I just wanted to show you that real quick. We're gonna come back to this. Okay, so the big 
question that I think most people have when they are looking into cloth diapers, they're curious about it, is why the heck would you want a cloth diaper? Why wouldn't you want to just use disposables? Isn't that easier? Like, what is the reasoning behind wanting a cloth diaper? Do we just all hate ourselves and want more work? <laughs> no. Um, there's actually a ton of reasons that somebody would choose a cloth diaper. So let me talk about a few of them. One of the biggest leading reasons to cloth diaper is that it is a lot cheaper for the most part if you don't have a cloth diaper addiction and go after all the prints and spend a lot of money on that. <laughs> um, but in general, speaking generally, cloth diapers are a lot cheaper. As you can see for me, who has used the same cloth diapers for 12 years through three babies, um, that's a lot of savings. So you can save one to two thousand dollars over your entire cloth diapering time with one child so from newborn to like two to three potty training whatever we'll just call it newborn to potty training you can save between one and two thousand dollars by just cloth diapering instead of using disposables which is just insane when you think about it basically you can save between 40 and 85 percent of the price of disposable diapers that you would spend through that child's diapering time so it is significantly cheaper, even when you include, like unless you live in a area where this is very different for you, um, even when you include detergent and water and everything like that, like it is so much cheaper to cloth diaper. So for many families, that's a big factor. Sometimes it's the contributing factor, sometimes it's not, and sometimes it's just a bonus, um, but it is something definitely to consider with cloth diapers. Another reason a lot of people cloth diaper is that it is so much better for your child's skin. There's no toxins, no chemicals, no, you know, compounds that are wicking away moisture the same way that a disposable would. So especially if you have a child with really sensitive skin, prone to eczema, yada, 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 um, cloth diapers are just significantly better for the skin. They're not toxic at all. So for some families, that's definitely a leading deciding factor. Another one is the environmental impact. Obviously cloth diapers are less trash. You buy them once, like for example, if you take care of your cloth diapers like I have, they've lasted 12 years and would easily do several more babies. They are significantly better for the environment, even when you include washing and drying and all of that, because instead of clothes, throwing away you know 10 to 20 diapers a day you're not throwing anything away <laughs> and you just wash them when they're dirty so obviously that's a significant reason another reason that a lot of people don't know about is it leads to earlier potty training in most cases cloth diapering um it kind of encourages an awareness of diapers in general in the child because it is cloth they're more slightly more aware when they're older um that their diaper has become wet because they don't have like that really all those like absorbent things to wick away the now cloth diapers do do this but in a disposable diaper you have those chemical compounds in there that inflate whatever when there's wetness in the diaper that takes it away. And so it brings the awareness kind of to the front for the child to understand. And so most cloth diaper kids are actually potty trained earlier than disposable users. Um, and that's just like kind of an added bonus, but something to note for sure if you're on the fence. Another big why is that they're not actually as intimidating as a lot of people think. They have made cloth diapers so easy nowadays that really it's not, like the ones I use, I chose ones that are really similar to disposable diapers because of ease and because I wanted something, I didn't want to add extra work to my day. So you can get some disposable diapers that are really, really close or cloth diapers, sorry, that are really, really close to the way disposables work. Um, and it's just, it's not as intimidating as it might seem. Okay, and then my last reason for why, like the, my, my last big why is a little bit vain, but I think it's way cuter because you can get so many adorable prints and patterns and it can be really, really fun to cloth diaper and to diaper hunt and, you know, like get a new, some people are like, oh, I'm gonna treat myself to a new print a month. It's, it can be really fun. It can be really, really cute and really fun. Okay, so let's get into the nitty gritty. Let's get into what you're gonna really wanna know. Um, so what types of cloth diapers? Where do I even start? How do I choose? What do all these acronyms mean? Where do I start? And then how the heck do I wash them and how is it not gross? So let's talk about those two things. So you have several types of cloth diapers. I might not even mention all of them here, but I'm gonna try and get the bulk of the styles of cloth diapers you can get. You can get flats, you can get pre-folds, you can get fitted diapers, 
pocket diapers, all in ones, all in twos, and hybrid cloth diapers. So a pocket diaper, um, for example, is one that is, let me get my handy dandy diaper. Um, this one doesn't have it actually. I have a bit of a hybrid right here. Uh, one of them is. A pocket diaper would be a diaper that has an insert like this, like an opening in it, and you would stuff the diaper with the insert so that the stuff that holds the moisture is on the inside of the diaper. It's stuffed into there. Unless I'm totally wrong and telling you the wrong kind of diaper. I think I think this is right. Anyway, yeah, it's, it's a diaper that you, you stuff and then you just have the diaper. Put it on, when the, when the baby goes to the bathroom, the whole thing is gone. There's that style of diaper. The diaper called All-in-Ones or AIO is the abbreviation. Those are the most like disposable diapers, where it's like a stuffing situation where you just put the diaper on, it's soiled, you take the diaper off, you're done with it. All-in twos, AI twos, those are what I use. Those are diapers you do not stuff. And I personally prefer this diaper. I only buy all in twos. I only am interested in using all in twos. And that's because they come with this little clip, like I had showed you before, where the insert, this portion that gets wet, clips into the diaper. You fold it in. And the reason I personally prefer all in twos is because I like that I don't need so many diapers. If you notice, I actually have two rows deep of a lot of insert but not so many shells. These are called shells. Um, and that's because if the baby pees on this, as long as the shell doesn't get wet, I can just take this out, throw this in the wash, and reuse the shell. Um, unless this gets, this gets wet or poopy, I can reuse this as many times as I want in a day. Um, so then, for a lot of diaper changes, I'm really only changing this insert, which just means a little bit less laundry for me, a little bit less money spent on the shells. I don't have to buy as many diapers um, to last me how long I want them to last. And yeah, that's just what I prefer. And then there are hybrid diapers that do both, where like I have ones that have snaps and a stuffing option, so they're kind of like all-in-one, all-in-twos. Um, and then there's hybrid diapers, which is a diaper that can be have an insert that is cloth or disposable because there are some diapers where you can get the insert that is disposable so you can throw away the inside and reuse the shells there's a lot of different options um and all you have to do is kind of think about how you want a cloth diaper for me that i asked myself like how do i want a cloth diaper and my answer was i want it to be as similar to disposable diapers as possible but i really didn't like the idea of having to stuff diapers when i did laundry and so that is why i personally chose all in twos and it was a great decision because i love it um the other reason i went with velcro instead of snaps you'll see like some diapers will have little buttons all across it that's so you can change it from size to size and it can grow with your baby. That was another big one for me. Not all cloth diapers grow with your baby. Some diapers you're going to have to buy different sizes for how old your baby is. I chose ones that can shrink to tiny, tiny newborn size and stretch all the way up to big toddler size. Um, and then I chose the Velcro because I wanted it to have the tightest fit. Um, that's not to say that snappy diapers are, don't have a tight fit, but I liked the idea that I could adjust this diaper to like the tiniest millimeter so I would not have any gaps, any leaking, and so that I could guarantee a perfect fit for my baby every time, even when they were in that awkward in-between sizes. I feel like maybe I didn't explain pockets right, and if I did not, I'm really sorry. Um, again, this is really, really easy information to, to find, but it has been a hot minute for me. It's been like nine years since I cloth diapered last. <laughs> so anyway, those are your different types of diapers. Again, I'm gonna talk about washing in a second, but you can buy new. There's so many different, very popular um, websites that have that are all cloth diapers. You can even get them on Amazon these days, but also don't be scared to look at Facebook Marketplace or something for diapers. I know that can seem weird and icky, but a lot of people will buy really beautiful, huge all stashes and you can get a really good deal, especially since once you understand how you wash cloth diapers, it's really easy to just sanitize them completely and make them completely safe for your baby. And just know that if somebody has invested in a huge stash of cloth diapers to cloth diaper their child, they are going to treat those diapers well. In almost every case, they're gonna respect them, they're gonna take really good care of them because it's 
you know, a small investment up front, but cloth diaper people would, they want their cloth diapers to stay nice. <laughs> so let's talk about how many diapers you need when you're going to cloth diaper and how often do you actually have to do the laundry? Is this like an everyday situation? What is this? Um, if you guys want to actually know my wash routine and hi and have me show you how to wash cloth diapers, I can do that once my baby is here and once I'm actually cloth diapering actively. I'll just show you a wash day. Um, let me know in the comments below if you'd be interested in seeing that in the future. I have no problem sharing that if you would find that helpful. Okay, so let's talk about how many. Most people agree that you need at least 12 cloth diapers to not be wasteful when washing. You don't want too small of a load to wash. You don't want to be washing as frequently. All in twos are the exception to this rule, because the diapers that I have, because obviously I'm not diapering or I'm not using um, a, a shell every single time I change a diaper. I can reuse some of them, so I don't need 12 shells minimum i can get away with a little bit less that being said i still have like 11 um and that's a lot so but that's the that's the base recommendation is you want at least 12 to not be a waste when you're washing um now clearly obviously i have a whole bunch of inserts um these are little newborn inserts but they're also doublers which means that not only do they fit those really itty bitty diapers in the beginning but they also can go underneath the big insert when I want a little more protection at nighttime. So I have a bunch of these as well. And then the other thing that does impact how many diapers you're going to need is how often do you want to wash? And that answers the other question. So I have enough diapers to wash every two to three days about. Um, I don't like to wash more than that. And I don't like to wash less than that in a perfect world just because I don't want my diapers sitting for too long. Um, but average is enough to wash your diapers about twice a week. I would say that's probably the average amount of washing is most people wash their diapers about two times a week. Um, you are going to get somebody that, some people that only wash once a week, you're going to get some people that prefer to wash every day. It totally just depends on the style of diaper, what they prefer, what works with their schedule. Everybody's a little different, but I feel like the average of, of aiming for about every, you know, two to three days or twice a week is a good bet. I have enough diapers to where I probably will just wash them every other day, but if I go three or third or fourth day, I'm not gonna run out of anything. Let's talk about wipes because that is another factor as well. A lot of people use cloth wipes. I cloth wiped both of my babies. All I did was I used a bunch of, I'm just gonna show you one of these. Um, all I did was I used a bunch of little baby face cloths. I bought Walmart packs that were super cheap back in the day. They were like a dollar. Um, and I just bought a ton of those in a very specific color, so I knew those were the diaper wipe ones. And I would just keep them in a wipe warmer with a little bit of moisture, like some water, and I cloth wiped as well. And I just did wipes and diaper laundry together. Now this time I've chosen not to do cloth wipes. Mainly that's because I don't know what happened to my cloth wipes. They're gone. Over the years, I've lost them. I don't know where they went. So I was debating, did I want to do cloth wipes again? I've decided I'm just extra lazy. This is my third baby um, and I don't want to do cloth wipes this time. So I'm not going to, I'm just gonna use disposable wipes. So I actually have a garbage can down here, locked and loaded and ready to go. Um, and I'm just gonna use disposable wipes because that's less trash for me, but it's just, I don't know. It's just like a little lazy thing that I'm doing. Um, and then I'll just do the cloth diaper. So I'll just use a, a little bit of mix of both, which you can absolutely do. But just know that some people make their own out of fabric strips. Like there's so many options that you can use for cloth wipes and it's no different than having a cloth diaper. We should also talk about laundry. I, again, if you guys want me to share with you like how exactly I wash them, I will. But a lot of people have questions like, what am I putting in my washing machine? Is it gonna make my washing machine dirty? Like, no, you wash these diapers on really hot settings. Um, breastfed babies, their poop is like nothing. <laughs> Especially um, even formula fed babies when they're just drinking milk. There's nothing really, nothing really happening. Um, now, some people like wipe out the cloth diaper. Um, some people won't when they start to eat solids. Cause this is a question. Sorry if it's a little gross, but like we're sharing information here, right? When they start to eat solids and their poop becomes solid, then all you do is some people have a diaper sprayer. So it's just this little hose that attaches to your toilet tank and you can just hold the diaper over the toilet, give it a quick spray, throw it in your diaper pail, which I'll talk about in a second. Some people, what I used to do, like when my kids went 
were done with diapers really early. So we didn't have a lot of this, but once they, you know, started to have solid poops, then you just toss it in the toilet and then put it in the diaper hamper. It's really not that big of a deal. And then you do, you don't have to do anything with pee. Um, so yeah, it's not actually like, it's less gross than disposables I find personally. Like as somebody who has changed a lot of bums in my day, <laughs> being a day home worker and <laughs> having my own children, mm, I cloth diapers is not, not an exhaustive amount of work at all. Okay, so now that we've talked about that, let's talk about the diaper pail, like storage, where the heck do you keep them? How do you make sure they don't stink up your house? Sorry, there's a neighbor's dog barking. Um, if you can hear that in the background, but I'm just gonna keep talking through it because I'm so sick of these dogs interrupting all my videos. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna talk about storage and where to put dirty. Now with my first two kids, I use something called a diaper pail, which is just essentially a big garbage bin or whatever that you put um, a wet bag in. So a wet bag is something that has, it's like a, it's like a laundry bag that elastics kind of onto the outside of the rim. And it has something called wick. It's just that really slippery material that um, doesn't allow water to pass through it. Now I use that for both of my kids um, and I'm just choosing to use something different this time because I don't need to use the other one. I still have my wet bags and I still have the same diaper hamper that I used, but I actually just use that as our family's laundry bin now because it's been so many years since I've had a diaper. So <clears throat> let me show you what my plan for this baby is. I just bought a really huge wet bag. I can link this in the, in the description below. It's from Amazon. So this is a really, really big wet bag. It's got a big zipper on the top. The material is kind of like swimsuit-y. Um, and inside there is that protective material that won't let water seep through the outside. So I will hang this up probably on the back of my bedroom door. And then when we're done with a diaper and it's soiled, we will just pop it in here, zip it up. It keeps all the smells in keeps all of the ickies in. And then when you're doing your laundry, all you have to do is unzip it, get ready. You grab the bottom of the bag, you flip it inside out over your washing machine, dump all the diapers in, you don't even have to touch them. So just make sure you take them apart when you're going to throw them in the bag. But yeah, it's just a hanging bag. And then it's they also come with this other zipper that is a dry compartment. So if you want, you could put dry items in there like spare diapers or whatever. Um, and that portion won't get wet or touched by the other diapers. So this is like a really easy, cheap solution to storing your dirty diapers. It really doesn't have to be complicated. Cloth diapering is as complicated as you decide to make it essentially. And then the other question that often people have is what about going out? How do I cloth diaper? Where am I gonna put a cloth diaper when I go out? And they actually have wet bags. Let me look in my diaper bag here um, that are much smaller and portable and that's what we use personally when we go out some people choose to use disposables when they go out and only cloth diaper at home that's another option but here's a small version of that wet bag so this one's cute it can clip to the stroller it can clip to the outside of your diaper bag if you want it can go inside your diaper bag same idea normal fabric on the front a dry pouch so you can put clean diapers in there ready to go for you or whatever else you want an outfit anything and then inside has this wicking material that keeps the moisture and the smell in, little smell patches. You could put some essential oil on that and just keep it in there. And then, so you just put your dirty diaper in there, zip it up and pop it in your diaper bag. And then this can go in the wash the same way the other one can when you're done and when you get home. So I only have one, this is from my, again, this is 12 years old. I bought this with my daughter, that's why it's like a pink, animals and stuff on it. Um, you can have a couple of these, however many you want, but that is essentially how you cloth diaper on the go. It's not much different from home. You just bring your own little storage tote. Okay, I hope this video has been helpful for you guys. I just wanted to give you a really basic rundown for the first cloth diaper video that I've done in many, many years. So if you have any questions or you want me to go in detail about a certain topic, I can do a video in the future. Just let me know in the comments down below and I will happily answer whatever I can. Um, I hope this was informative. Um, if you're a cloth diaper, parent and you want to share some tips or advice or anything you feel, please feel free to do that if you have any questions again just pop them down below and i will ha be happy to answer them if i can't answer them i'm sure somebody else will happily come help answer them 
Um, but until the next one, I feel like this was enough information to leave you so that if you are wanting to start your cloth paper journey, you can. Um, but yeah, I'll leave you here. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you in my next one. Bye guys.